This Olympic athlete broke the age barrier, winning a silver medal, and I bet you've never heard of him before. While watching the Paris Olympics this year in 2024, I was struck by how many older adult athletes were doing so well in their sport. We've had a 65-year-old Antonio Jimenez representing Spain and several men and women in their late 50s and early 60s. And most notably, the 50-year-old who was skateboarding. I mean, come on, that's awesome. But none of them claim the title of being the oldest Olympian ever to compete. First off, if we haven't met, my name is Joe Sidaway. I'm a doctor of physical therapy, and I actually help older adults live their best years on their own terms. So let's dive right in. So the story of the oldest Olympian goes way back to the 1912 Olympic Games. They actually came to Sweden, home to Oscar Swan. He had competed in the 1908 Summer Olympics, winning two gold medals in the Running Deer single shot event. In 1912, he became the oldest gold medalist and to my knowledge, still holds that title. But that's not the end of the story. He continued to compete at the 1920 Olympics and at the ripe old age of 72 became the oldest Olympic athlete ever to compete. When looking at people like Oscar Swan, I think it's easy to assume that the idea of being energetic and doing something like competing in the Olympics while in our 70s is something that's reserved for other people and not for yourself. But that isn't true. The way you will age gracefully and still be thriving in your 70s and beyond is by a concept I recently read called desire versus design. The author gave an analogy of a cyclist who wants to bike at 100 kilometers an hour. I think the author's from England, so I'll just keep with the kilometers. They are motivated, give themselves pep talks, practice with all their might until the big day to compete. The problem is they have the desire but the bicycle is not designed to go 100 kilometers an hour. It wasn't built that way. Instead, contrast this to my 90 plus year old grandmother-in-law, happy birthday to her most recently. She can comfortably go 100 kilometers an hour in her car with very little effort. She just needs to push on the gas pedal. All of the work was done in the design of her vehicle. That's why she can do what she does. So in your life, if you're wanting to do whatever your 100 kilometers an hour is, like going on vacations, hiking the mountains, playing with the grandchildren, or staying in your own home rather than going to an assisted living facility, then focus on the design of your life. What health and fitness habits are you building into your day-to-day -day life? My goal is to help older adults like you who are afraid of falling and instead help them become robust, strong, and not end their days on the couch. That starts with building habits before you fall and break a hip. It's true that if you are prepared, you shall not fear. If time is a limiting factor and you wanna try a quick exercise routine that is based on dozens of patients I've worked with and is backed up by research, check out this video right here. And as always, thanks so much for watching.